Steve Beaton. So give him a round of applause. He worked very hard. He was a truck driver. He was gone from home a lot. 
And Susan and his mother, uh, Susan and her mother, were always praying for their father. Well, when Susan got that testament, she decided she was going to give that to her father. And the next time he came home, before he left on his next trip, she slipped it into his piece of luggage without him knowing it. Uh, and uh, he took it with him when he left. Well, while he was on the road, he saw that testament in his luggage. And Susan had put a note inside of it to ask him to do what I just asked you to do. To open up that back cover and read those scriptures. And then to start reading the testament from the beginning. Well, her father had never really read much of the Bible, but he was uh, lonely and he knew he needed some help in his life. And so he did what Susan, his daughter, asked him to do. He read those scriptures and he started reading that testament. And before he got home from that trip, Susan's father gave his life to Jesus Christ. So again, I encourage all of you to read those scriptures. And if you're already a Christian, you can use those scriptures in the front that I told you about. You can use that plan of salvation in the back to share Jesus with uh, someone you know, your family or friends that don't know Jesus. On behalf of the Gideons, I want to thank all of you for allowing us to come into your beautiful, wonderful school. We uh, look forward to handing you the testaments as you leave today. You do not have to take one if you don't want one. I know we come here almost every year, so some of you may still have one that you've gotten from times past, but feel free to take one if you want it. Take another one if you need it, and we look forward to seeing you again next year. God bless you all, and thank you for allowing us to come here today. Stand back up, we have another song.